Hello, in this video I'm going to take you through the viola beginner routine. So what you need to do first is get your viola out and get the shoulder rest. Now your shoulder rest can go this way or this way. Remember to have it upwards like a smiley face. So now you need to turn your viola upside down with the shoulder rest in the smiley face position. And what we need to do is hook one side on so hold the left side with your finger and then the other side slide it on from the top until it begins to get tight and that it's really snug. So there it won't fall off. And it's actually going across the widest part of the instrument there. So it's definitely not going to fall off. It's very tight now. So um, if you put it the other way around, it might feel a bit uncomfortable. Um, but it might take a little while to get used to that. So that was the shoulder rest, that was number one. Number two is tightening the bow. So when you get the bow out of the case, it should be loose, I've been using mine, so it's been tight. So when you get it out of the case, it should be loose, and you should have tightened it if you did put it away. Now, you can see it's loose because the hair is close to the stick. So what we need to do is, with the screw, we need, we need to tighten it to the right, so righty-tighty, lefty-loosey and count how many times you tighten the screw. So I'm going to count one, two, three, and four. And this is just enough because I can fit my pinky right in the middle of the bow between the stick and the hair, and that's just enough. Now when handling the bow, remember don't touch the bow hair because we can leave fingerprints on it and it will get slippery and it won't make a proper sound. Uh, and it will get dirty and it's very difficult to clean. So remember, always handle it by the base here and the stick. So now we're going to rest position. I'm going to put the bow down for this one. So when you pick up your instrument, pick it up with your left hand, with the strings facing outwards, and your fingers on the wood. If you think of this like a person, you're kind of holding it by the shoulder and your thumb around the base of the neck. So your fingers should be on, on, the, uh, on the wood and you're going to place it under your other arm, under your right arm, and that is called rest position. And that is number three. So now we're going to go into number four. Uh, on the sheet it says LH, that stands for left hand, and then it says pluck and song. So with that we need to get our viola up into playing position. So left hand on the viola like you had just then, bring it out in front of you, turn it upside down this way so that you don't hurt your arm, and up on your shoulder. Now your head, your chin should be on the chin rest here, so turn your head so that your chin is resting on the chin rest and you're looking down the strings. And to check if this is a good position, what you should do is take your hand away and see if you can hold it there comfortably. If it's not comfortable, you might be holding it too far uh, to the forward of uh, your chest. So it needs to go up on your shoulder and you need to turn your head as well so that your chin is on the chin rest, something like that. So it does take a little while to get used to, but the more you do something, the better you get at it, the more used to it you get. So this is playing position and we're going to use left hand to pluck the song. So with that, we're going to use our pinky on the first string, which is A, or it might be blue if you're using color strings. So blue is A for pinky, and third finger is, is, uh, third finger is D, which is red, um, for our third finger, or our ring finger. Second finger is green, or G, for our second finger. And first finger is purple, or C, for our first finger. So what we're going to do is pluck each string with, with a different finger. And with that, we're going to play the ant song. So starting with the pinky on the A string. One, two, ready, go. Ant, 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 digging in the dirt, 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 deep beneath the ground, 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 continuously. going to strum. So place your first finger back on the C string and pull it right across all the strings. 
do the same thing for the second finger and the third finger and the fourth finger so there we have it that is the ant song a for ant d for dirt g for ground and c for continuously this was adapted from the violin ant song and one of my students made up continuously for the C string. So that was very clever. I'm glad I can still use the same song. Now we get to the bow hold. So for that, I'm gonna put the viola down. And before I pick up the bow, uh, put your right hand out in front of you and separate the two middle fingers and the two outer fingers like that. Curl your two middle fingers down to make a circle with your thumb so something like that and then curl your your outer fingers out like that this is called the bunny rabbit bow hold because it looks like a bunny rabbit so all the fingers are round okay and with our right hand we pick up the bow by the stick and every finger has uh, its own place to sit on the bow so to position it we'll let's start well basically we'll slide the bow in like this and then the thumb sits on the little black bump there. But I'll take, you, I'll take you through each finger. So the ring finger should sit on this dot here. Sometimes you can feel it on other instruments, you, on other bows you can't. So ring finger goes on the dot, middle finger goes next to it. Curl them around. Then the thumb sits diagonally on this little black bump here. Okay, so there's our circle. And then first finger lies down over this black part or even up on the silver winding. And then the pinky sits right on top of the stick by the tip of the finger, like that. Now the bow's probably a little bit too heavy to hold like this if you're a beginner, so hold it upright and, and look at your fingers this way. So ring finger on the dot, middle finger next to it, first finger lying down, pinky on the stick by the tip, and round thumb as well. So there we have it. So that's the front view, or that one, the back view and underneath you can see I've got a round thumb. So there's our bow hold. If you've got a music stand at home, it's good to rest your bow on the stand and then pick it up in position, right like that. Once you've got that, see if you can pick up the viola by the left hand, fingers on the wood, turn upside down, up on the shoulder, turn the head, look down the strings and we're, we're ready to begin. So now we're up to number six, playing open strings, and for that we're going to play the ant song again. So just straight, long, slow bows on each of the strings. One, two, ready, go. Ant, digging in the dirt, feet beneath the ground, continuously. So try that a few times and remember to have nice straight bows. That will produce the best sound. So for number six, there's another song called Mr. Sun. And we can play this on just one string. And hopefully you know the words to this song. If not, you can listen and then you can learn it just from listening to me sing it. So here we go, we're going to start on the A string, one, two, ready, play. And let's play it one more time. I forgot to mention that in the rest I want you to blow out the candle. Ready, play. Mr. Sun, show your face. Brighten all the clouds away up into space. And now try that on the D string. us to number seven rainbow 
rainbow string crossing. So with the bow, place it on the lowest, thickest string, which is the C, at the uh, close to the nut of the bow, the heel of the bow. And what we're doing is we're drawing nice long bows across the string, nice and smooth and round, like the shape of the bridge. And so we play up, we play start with the down bow, sorry. And then back over again. And three more times. smooth sound and bending from the upper from the upper arm try not to bend the wrist